Dr. Buffy Ackman at Marcello Veterinary Hospital, and this is Bogart, Dr. Kevin's diabetic cat. Today, I will be demonstrating how to give a proper insulin injection. This includes making sure Bogart has eaten at least half of his meal. If he has not, he does not get his insulin injection. So, I will begin by taking the insulin out of the refrigerator. At this point, I will invert it very gently or roll it between my fingers to make sure to disperse the sediment so that it's mixed thoroughly. This is your insulin syringe. Keep in mind that each insulin has its own type of syringe. Make sure with your veterinarian that you're using the correct one. To pull up insulin, you need to turn the insulin bottle upside down, remove the cap, put the needle into the top, pull all the way up to the labeled dosage, a little bit past it, and then push it back up to the labeled dosage. So you take your kitty or dog and you grab the back of their neck, you tint the skin, place your syringe parallel to the spine, insert the needle, pull back a tiny bit just to make sure you're not pulling back blood, and inject the insulin. And then you can take the needle out and kind of rub the spot to make sure it's not too painful. Here are some tips for giving insulin by yourself. One, you could put some peanut butter or cheese on the wall in front of them, usually distract them, or give the injection while they're eating. Additionally, especially for little spicy burritos, you can put on an e-collar or a cone of shame, and then they can't turn around and bite you. If you're ever unsure, call your veterinarian. We're always here to help.